Video games have been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I mean, I literally cannot remember a time in my life where I wasn't playing some sort of video game. I probably came out the fucking womb with a PlayStation controller. It has become such a big part of me to the point to where I can't imagine my life without it. I don't mean to sound like a fucking nerd or anything, but seriously, some of my most nostalgic and funnest moments come from me playing games in my childhood. From Flash games on my old ass computer to the strip club in GTA, how did I get to this point? A lot of people don't really know why they love the things they love, but I do. I can actually trace that back to my early days where I would watch my dad play Tomb Raider and Crash Bandicoot on the PS2. I'd just sit there and watch as he controlled Miss Pointy Boobs on the screen with skeletons chasing after him. The sound of Crash picking up Wumpa Fruits and just the overall polygon look of the late 90s games were just so fire to me. I don't know how to explain it, but it just captured my young mind. I'd get my first taste of personal entertainment in the form of handhelds. I'd jump around from game to game, DS to DS, because I always fucking broke everything as a kid. I'm getting a lot of flashbacks of the old Mario games, like Yoshi's Island, you know, the little fucking music, and the baby Mario and Luigi, like, oh my fucking god. And with the DS, I just remember shit like, you know, Nintendogs, Mario Kart, and Brain Age. I also remember even playing the shit out of the PSP at one point. This would all change though when my dad came in one day with the PS3 back in the late 2000s. This was a game changer. Up until that point, I was just playing small and harmless games, mostly made by Nintendo, but this thing, fuck was I in for a ride. I know I don't have to say this, but the 7th generation of consoles led and revolutionized the gaming scene forever. They were the entry to years and years of entertainment during one of the most iconic eras in gaming history. I was just absolutely consumed by the PS3. Sure, I had owned a PS1, PS2, and PSP, but the PS3 is what made me become a Sony fan. I mean, I was 9 years fucking old ripping Helios' head off while riding on giants and beating the shit out of Greek gods in God of War 3. What was there not to like? To some degree, video games did desensitize me at a young age though. Shooting zombies' limbs off and doing fatalities in Mortal Kombat starts to almost become normal to look at. I'm glad I grew up with these types of games though because they shaped me to not be such a pussy and to not pass out at the sight of blood. If it weren't for those days playing Dead Island, I wouldn't even be able to watch anything on any gore sites, so thanks I guess? Every day I would go to school and just think about playing all day until I got out. I would say that's a bad thing, but I was a kid at the time, so what the fuck was I going to do anyways? I would carry out fiending PS3 until the PS4 came out, and that's when I went crazy. I played a lot of good titles over the years, but there was just one game that absolutely took over my life for like 3 fucking years. That game was Destiny. Destiny 1 has to be one of my most favorite games of all time. And I played the shit out of that game every day with my friends for all of middle school. There was just something about that game that just hooked me. The rarity of exotics, raids, nostalgia. I don't know, but if you know, you know. I even bought the game twice. I mean, only idiots buy games twice, right? Okay, seriously, this game was everything to me. And even now I look back during those times fondly. More recently, I've actually been chasing trophies. I was able to get 16 Platinums in the span of 1 month and a half to 2 months. My proudest Platinum definitely has to be The Last of Us though. Because that shit took me weeks, but it was so worth it. Then of course, there was the Fortnite wave, which is a whole video in itself, but I won't get too much into that. But the point I'm trying to get at is that video games have been with me my whole life, wherever I go, in all forms. From when I was little playing DS and Wii to now, I've always gravitated toward this hobby. Make fun of me all you want, but video games give me a ton of nostalgia. Just like music, whenever I see or hear stuff from old games from my past, I can do nothing but smile because my life truly was better when I was just a kid with no responsibilities. The older I get, the more shitty life becomes, and I'm sure you're all aware of that. Video games allow me to keep my mind off things by keeping me busy. Everyone spent their own childhood doing things they loved. This is just what I did with mine. Thanks for listening.